Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're in Rochester, New York. Yes, Rochester, outside. Neno's, Neno's Gourmet Mexican Street Food. Here doing a giant taco challenge. So for this challenge, we're gonna have basically an order of like all their tacos. So we have carnitas, uh, which is like a braised uh, pork. We have braised beef. We have uh, their bidia, which is like a stew taco. We have, um, I think, uh, El Pastor. We have so many different items. It looks delicious, guys. These are super, super fantastic looking. This is the best Mexican cuisine in the area. Western New York's best tacos they've gotten time and time again. So I'm so excited to get a try-wide variety. There's so many cool items, but basically for this challenge, we are going to have 24 minutes. Yes, 24 minutes, and there's 24 tacos. Um, big tacos, but that it, so it's like a minute per taco. But yeah, it should be fun. Uh, so let's head on in, let's eat some food. Super excited, super pumped. Um, again, we're in the quest for a free meal and a sweet t-shirt. And that's pretty much about that. But that, so uh, let's go have some fun with these food. Let's get eating. All right, everyone, so here are with all the tacos. Definitely a lot of them. Plus, this is a full table of tacos. Then I also have the video here, which is the ones with the consomme, the spicy beef, braised beef, all looks very delicious. So we got, you know, more food than can even fit in the frame here, but it looks really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, super excited. Um, I also have some extra salsa here, salsa verde, uh, and uh, a, a salsa arbo, like an arbo chili salsa. Um, but yeah, so we have the uh, carne, I have carnitas, I have the carne asada, I have El Pastor, I have the Baja fish, and I have a braised beef. So, and then of course the uh, Bidia as well. So a lot of food, it looks really good. Um, but at that, let's get started here just momentarily. I love Mexican cuisine, it's one of my favorites, and this just looks and smells fantastic. So, I will start, I don't really know where to start. How about with some of the braised beef here? Just look at it, it looks gorgeous. So how about we get rock and roll, let's hit count five, four, maybe three, two, one, let's go. Mm. Delicious. The flavor, the salsa berry on there. Very good. Mm -hmm. You just can talk yourself to you, you don't be totally quiet. <laughs> Try the chili arbo, this is the spicy one. That is spicy. Picante. Tastes really good though. He got the fish. Look at the size of this thing. It's a whole freaking flat. Mm. Oh yeah. Woo. This is huge. Great flavor though. I got some El Pastor. Oh, 
With that pineapple and everything. Very delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Neno's in Rochester. Yes, pretty much right downtown Rochester doing their massive taco challenge. So for this challenge, we had a total of 24 tacos being the 20 on the tray. And then we had the birria, uh, which is the stewed tacos, which are kind of a stewed beef, um, lots of spices in there. It's known to be a little spicy, like a little picante spicy. And then it is served with a consomme, which is basically like beef drippings, spiced beef drippings, which the braised beef was essentially rendered or cooked in, um, which you generally dip the tacos in. And generally the tortillas are also crusted in cheese, all of which were applicable to these ones here as well. We have the asada. Got the pulled cactus on here. Mm. There's an amazing flavor on that. I don't even know what it is, but it is damn good. There's some lime going here. A very Mexican street flavor to have some lime on all your little tacos. So we had a large variety of the different tacos all served on a corn tortilla. And let me tell you, it was absolutely delicious. These flavors definitely brought me back to Mexico. The salsa verde, the different cilantro, the pickled onions, everything was fantastic. Um, the El Pastor was really nicely spiced, which El Pastor is like a uh, seasoned pork loin, essentially, with a bunch of different peppers. The carne asada, basically like the uh, basic little grilled and or we'll call it grilled beef, essentially. Some people call it steak. Was absolutely delicious. The flavors were on point. That had the Napoli cactus on it. Um, we had the uh, Baja fish with all the creme and everything. I tell you, this is some big bites though. Holy cow. There's so much meat on that thing. They also make their own hot sauce here. Jalapeno. So I'll try it. On the El Pastor. And then of course we had, you know, the carnitas, which was a very traditional kind of braised pork. And we're talking pickled onions. We're talking cilantro, uh, you know, just like everything. Everything was perfect, perfect. Um, so super delicious. Loved all the spices uh, that were used on the food. <laughs> Spicy, We're very good. We're about five minutes, 40 seconds in, something like that. Carnitas, let's give it a try. This is a braised pork. Got the queso fresco on there. It is super moist, super soft. This is one of the owner's favorites, he said. I love this jalapeno hot sauce, so I'm just kind of drenched in it there. We did have 24 minutes to complete this challenge or to get the meal for free. And um, then I did have a couple of the different jars of salsa, as I mentioned, which I could use uh, as leisure. They were not required for the challenge or anything, nor were the limes on the um, tray required. And then, like I said, although it looks like we're almost done here with at least what's on this board, we still have the birria, which is, well, literally wouldn't fit in the frame. So it's just off to the side there. Um, so Nano's itself, again, I heard very much that this was really good Mexican food and it really was. Um, it's really nice to have such like authentic Mexican cuisine in Western New York, like this far north in the United States, because I find it's hard to find really good Mexican food in the Northern United States, whereas it's quite common in the Southern States 
having a place like Neno's in the Rochester area, which there's a couple locations, really brings that authenticity there. All right, delicious. Cranking some more of that jalapeno hot sauce, guys. This tastes great. I'm definitely gonna get a bottle to take home. You can as well. But now, we can't forget about the media, which didn't even fit on the tray, didn't even fit in the frame, it was because there's so many tacos. Looking forward to this. Um, chest Piscato. All right. Woo. A lot of food, guys, but very, very good. Really love the flavors. So let's keep on and going. Like I said, shout out this hot sauce. It's really vinegary. Just delicious. Very delicious. Excuse me. Let's just look at that presentation. Oh man. So good. But that everybody let me know your favorite type of taco you can comment it down below maybe it's like hashtag beef maybe it's hashtag pork hashtag chicken hashtag fish whatever it is comment down below and i believe that's pretty much all the info i have for you today um, definitely stick around to the end of the video we have some more goodies coming your way um, hopefully we'll also be able to complete the challenge but like i said undoubtedly very very delicious fish this was quite a large challenge i put it like an intermediate level uh, mostly due to the well the combination of the size and the time limit these were big tacos everything was double wrapped the uh, portions of meat were very generous on them and they were huge like look at just look at the piece of fish on the fish tacos just absolutely giant um, so with that everyone let's get to the rest of the video like i said i look forward to hearing your favorite type of taco down below and at that let's see what happens that fish is really good as well guys there's just so much on here like i said this is like that is a big 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 taco Right, we're on the video, I probably got food all over my face. So basically stew tacos, which have a bit of heat, and you dip them in the delicious juices. Clean up this little bit. Right. Look at this freaking drip action, that's gonna be, oh my gosh. Look at that. Just look at it. That is a juicy taco, that is for sure. So let's give that a bite. Oh, sliding away. Wow. Oh man. They are known for their video here. And that is soft, that is juicy.
Delicious flavors. Delicious. Leave no doubt. Mm. Oh man. Woo, those beef juices. So much flavor in that. Very rich. But so much flavor. I think that's pretty good elimination of doubt. Clean up these few ends. And that, we are finished. All right, everyone, so we just finished that up. Very, very, very delicious. I absolutely loved the tacos, guys. If I had to pick a favorite, I don't know where to start. The Baja fish was fantastic. The video was amazing. Just like, oh, so juicy. And oh, that one, that one that was soaking in there was absolutely fantastic. Um, the El Pastor was great. The carnitas, the braised beef. It was all really good. The only, I think, taco I didn't try was the chicken, which I'm gonna get something with the chicken. They had um, kind of these, uh, a really unique burrito on the menu, which had mole on it. So I've never had a burrito with mole on it. And of course the chicken and mole is kind of the more traditional thing. So I'll probably get one of those just to try a bite of. But with that everybody, Nano's here guys. Rochester, you guys are very, very blessed. They have a couple locations around now and it tastes delicious. I love this hot sauce. I'm definitely taking some at home. It is a jalapeno hot sauce, but it's not very, very spicy, but really nice vinegar, really acidic. It went great with the richness of everything. Again, their uh, other salsas that they made here like also were fantastic. This chili arable one is pretty spicy though. Woo! Pretty picante. Um, but that everybody, that's about that. So uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely if you're in the area, stop on by. Uh, loved it all. Loved it, loved it all. So we'll be back here momentarily. And uh, that was awesome. I'm, I, that was just awesome. So Oh, check out this Frida Carlo, guys. Look at this freaking painting. Gorgeous place. So yeah, let's grab some food, let's get back here just momentarily. All right, so here we have that burrito I was talking about. Just look at it, it looks freaking amazing. Um, it's called a sizzle mole or something, I kind of forget the name. But I went with the chicken, the pollo, because uh, like, you know, pollo con mole, chicken and mole, um, very classic. We, but it, as it is a burrito, we have the queso fresco, we have um, radishes, we have some cabbage on top, of course the mole, um, house made, and then we have the crema, and rice and everything all there so i had to try this i've never seen mole on a burrito so i wanted to give that a good old bite let's try to just dive in here normally eat burritos with my hands but this one man okay i like it i like it so we got chicken in here mm. Woo. okay oh yeah yeah, yeah. Oh man, that mole. Mm. That is delicious. The 
If you've never had mole, mole is kind of like a, I call it kind of like a winter spicy, chocolatey salsa slash gravy kind of thing. Which sounds really weird, but it is so good. Oh man, that chicken and everything in there. Woo! We also got a uh, a red salsa on that chicken. But this mole. Oh boy. I could eat that mole by the spoonful. That was so good. Yeah, that's just fantastic. Wait, what's wrong with Oh my lord. Alright. I'm only having a bite. I'm only having a bite. Look what they just get. look what they just dropped off at the table. Churros and ice cream. Jeez Louise. Oh ho 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 ho. Oh man, this smells so, so, so good. This is like, and it is warm. I can feel the heat coming off of it. All right, amazing burrito. But I'm sorry, you're being put aside for the churros. All right, like I said, I'm only gonna have a bite because, well, everything was amazing, but I just ate like 20 whatever tacos and a, you know, some of a burrito. All right, I have to try it though. All right, we got the delicious looking churros. Oh, whoa. Woo! Crispy fried dough. Oh, chocolate sauce. Ice cream. Muy bien, Enrico. Too bad. Well, anyway, everyone, Nenos. It's been an amazing experience. Definitely if you're in the area, come on by, get yourself some really nice, authentic Mexican cuisine. This is all amazing. I loved, 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 loved that mole burrito. Their mole is great. Like you said, I'm a big mole person, and they did not disappoint. The churros are nice. Tacos are great. So, stop them by. Tell them that you saw me, you saw this video. And uh, with that, everybody, until next time, so have everybody hungry, happy eating. Don't do what I do. Like I said, stop them by and get a taco. Or an order. Get an order. Or one burrito. Maybe split, share a dessert. You don't need all this, guys. So that, till next time. That's just it. This is amazing. End of that. Have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.